and welcome to Grimmin' from Ear to Ear. The only morning show where we answer your questions about the Halo-based web series, Red vs. Blue. I'm Simmons, and he's Griff. Today's question comes from user Roses Are Red, Blues Are Dead, and they ask, who was the best RVB villain? Ooh, great question. Even though we both have strong opinions on this. The director. O'Malley. We thought it would be even more fun to open it up to some callers. So go ahead and give us a call at the number on your screen. Let us know what you think. The meta, highly trained freelancer turned villain, power hungry, and the fact that he can't talk makes him that much more intimidating. That's a very good point. Gonna be hard to beat that one. Thanks for calling, Fred. What would we do without you? I think Sarge is the biggest villain because what's more villainous than abandoning your child? <laughs> Palmer. Anyone else? Well, looks like we can call this one early then. Whoa, 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 not so fast. Damn it. No question, the best villain was definitely Felix. It's actually a, a good Felix these nuts. About to bow out. Tucker! Hello, you've got Simmons. When you think about it, the ultimate power, uh, I mean, uh, villain, is anyone who actively and gleefully profits off of the endless, needless violence of war. And Griff's balls! <laughs> Hey, what's up? What? You called us. Uh, who do you think is the best RVB villain? Hello? Sarge? Sake! I'm not even here right now! <laughs> Leave a message after the beep, you numbskull! How did this voicemail call us? How are they doing this? Babies! Get it? <sighs> O'Malley. Well, this was a terrible idea. Thanks to Roses Are Red, Blues Are Dead for the question, I guess. Have a great morning and an even better day.